This is the Nova Corps. We have a situation. Thanos is here. Destroyer of Worlds, big glowy gauntlet, wrinkly chin. Yeah, I've heard of him. You have to help us. This is a priority one distress call, Star-Lord. I know we rarely ask for your assistance, but we're desperate. I don't have to do anything. What's in it for me? Uh, we, um, well, we'll expunge your past crimes from your record. Uh, hijacking a Star Blaster on Xandar, consorting with a Centaurian delinquent, impersonating a Nova Corps officer. Ugh. I want a clean slate for my whole crew. Rocket, Gamora, Groot, and Drax. Ah, Nova Prime won't be happy about this. But if that's what it'll take, we can do it. Okay, here's the situation. We tracked Thanos to this Kree planet. But when our fighters engaged, he decimated our fleet. Without your help, he'll kill us all. We're no match for him. Half our ships are already gone. All right, space cops. But you're gonna owe us big time for this. You will be compensated, Star-Lord. Please hurry! Time to rock and roll. Peter! <sighs> Looks like death out there. Business as usual. I'm not complaining. Gamora, heads up! You two want to quit making out and help me before we explode? Quill! Tool! Now! Thanks, Yumi. And fixed! On to the next disaster! And that is... Where to begin? Thrusters fried, compilers spitting out carbon. I'm through. Oh, and now Groot's on fire. Groot's on fire! Peter! Ah. <laughs> I am Groot. Oh, Groot says thanks. Wait, if you're all here, who the hell is flying my ship? Do not distract me, Star-Lord. Thanos is here. Today, I finally slay our nemesis. My dead wife and daughter shall have their vengeance. I have longed for this day of death. Dreamed of it. Hey, I'm all aboard the vengeance train, okay? But let's worry about not getting killed before we kill him. We are on a spaceship, not a train. Move, Drax! Enjoying myself. Yeah, well, I'd enjoy you shutting up, okay? Off to a great start today. I am Groot. All right, guys. Let me show you how it's done.
am Groot. Uh, no. No. That was absolutely not fun, you stupid log. Uh, anybody dead? Uh, uh. Okay. Good. Where is the other green one? Uh, wishing we had better seatbelts. Still breathing. Hmm? Ow! Uh. Oh no! Get me down! Get me down! My sweet, precious little baby! There's an infant on our ship. Well, that can't be good. Where is it? Where is it? Hey! Get down here! I mean, up here! Whatever! Stupid, stubby little arms. You need a hand there, little buddy? Your powers of observation are phenomenal. We're all gonna be red paste in a second if you don't help me. Careful with that. My baby, give it! <laughs> Another nanosecond, and we all would have been atomized. Still looks like it'll blow up to me. It sure ain't no toy. We get pushed around by a lot of dangerous jerks. I built this bad boy to push back. Hey, <laughs> ain't she a beaut? She's still a little unstable. I like the way your brain works. Me too. <sighs> so this is how I die. The mad titan arrives. He is heading towards those ruins. Looks like the Nova Corps failed. It's up to us to take him down. Just the five of us. And... That gun. <laughs> Thanos, if through there, I smell his evil stench. door is not gonna budge so easily. <laughs> yeah, well. Okay, so this gun ain't totally, you know, operational yet. And it only has one shot. But think of it as a feature. Yeah. yeah I mean, you can't harness enough energy to atomize a biggish moon or smallish planet without some drawbacks. Wait, what? You couldn't have mentioned that earlier? I didn't want to ruin the mood. Hmm. Hmm. Now, let's see. Think I see a way over. Tread lightly, Star Lord. Thanos must not detect our presence. I'm not gonna tread at all. Star Lord, what do your red eyes see? Uh, totally part of the plan. Definitely did not almost die. Whatever you gotta tell yourself. <laughs> oh no. 
What happened? Did you find the Nova Corps? Yeah, um... They're all dead. Hang on. I'll find you guys a way through. Ooh, hey now. That could do some damage. You there? What's up? What's going on over there, man? I found a crashed Nova Corps ship. Right smack through the wall. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. I think its guns can blast the door open, but I can't get into the cockpit. Check the side. Should be an access override panel. I, uh, might have stripped one of these ships for parts before. Found the panel, but I can't get it open. Yeah, you're gonna need an override chip to access it. High-ranking officers usually carry them. Maybe I can figure out who was in charge. Well, I've got the time scanner. Nope. Just a regular Corsman. Here we go. You look like an authority figure. Oh! Jeez. Bingo. I need you. Got it. Hey, you guys still out there? Affirmative, Star-Lord. Good. Stand back from the door. Like, way, way back. Understood. Backing away. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Booyah! This is a Kree temple. They are a technologically advanced species, strong of body, powerful of military. What is Thanos even doing here? What does he want with this place? Guess we'll find out. I know one thing for certain. I gotta get this thing working or we're all dead. Almost done tinkering. Promise. Just a little more calibrating and this baby will sing. We're counting on you, Rocket. Nothing inspires the creative soul like intense pressure, right? Hey, I think this can take us down. If the controls aren't too damaged. Eh, no big deal, Gams. I can undamage them. I am Groot. Hey, Groot says he's worried we bit off more than we can chew. Ah, why don't you relax, you big wooden baby? We're just going deeper into the old creepy temple. More than I could chew? Ha! Yeah. You put something in this mouth, and I'm gonna chew it. I'm gonna chew it so hard that you... Peter, stop. There. Good as new. The time has come. Either Thanos falls, or we do. On my planet, before a great battle, our fearless leader would rally the troops with his words. Thanos is done terrorizing the innocent people of this galaxy. It's time for payback. Yes. Revenge. Always a noble pursuit. This is the slowest elevator in the universe. You cannot possibly know that. Hmm. No, 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 no. 
your suffering is ended. At last. It's mine. Yes. Gas. Childish insults. I would expect as much from you. Now that I have this, I shall roll through the galaxy like a great wave, crushing the bones of every inhabitant and the civilizations of every planet I uh, pass. Oh, let me guess. It's a ancient super weapon. Or something. The Eternity Forge. Called it! Daughter, you have aligned yourself with such pathetic creatures. I was never your daughter. Then you will die an adversary. Yeah, that's not happening, big guy. Your actions are futile. You cannot kill me. Thanks for training me to kill. I'll put it to good use. From me. I removed your weakness. I gave you purpose. What is 
this mechanical nonsense? Why are there three triggers? Peter! The galaxy is my... Smile, you son of a... No way. I... I, I can't believe it, guys, but... He's dead. Believe it, man! We rock! I am Groot! Guess this relic is useless. Huh. <laughs> but this gun wasn't! Who did? You did! Rocket, you quit it! Did? Yes! Hey, hey, dude! Stop, stop kicking He me. ain't getting any deader! We must respect the Fallen. Yeah, respect this, Thanos. We are victorious. The biggest terror the galaxy has ever known is no more. I am Groot! I... I never thought this would happen. Yeah! What do we do now? Only top shelf foods for the man who killed Thanos. I've got some thousand year old Centaurian ale. 
in saving it for a day like this. Hey, drinks all around. Coming right up, big spender. I still can't believe we did it. Thanos is gone. <laughs> believe it. If it weren't for all this, the Guardians fighting Thanos, do you think we still would have ended up together? All of us. Do you think we would have been friends? I'd like to think so. One way or another. Yeah. Me too. For better or for worse. You have to admit, we aren't the most likely group of friends. <sighs> Without Thanos, we might just end up driving each other crazy. I mean, with Drax and Rocket. Even I might have a bit of a temper. Sometimes. Are you kidding? We already drive each other crazy. <laughs> okay, yes. But you found a way to make us work together. Honestly, we all stay because of you, Peter. You're the one who's going to keep us from falling apart. Uh, wow. Uh, yeah, no pressure. <laughs> solace in that statement. I was not there to save my family before. But now that I have exterminated Thanos, my redemption is complete. I am proved. <laughs> Groot's totally right. He said Peter killed Thanos, not you, big guy. Nonsense. Clearly I got my revenge. Didn't see you pulling the trigger. My hands are too strong. I would break such a puny device. Yeah, excuses always help. Uh, technically, uh, you know, I was the one that shot Thanos, but, uh... I expect this from the tree and rodent, but from you... I am no longer in the mood to celebrate. Yes, yes, this is the gun that blew a hole in Thanos. But no, you can't do shots on it. Okay, maybe just one. <laughs> hey, Rocket. So, as I was saying, I built this brilliant, beautiful piece of machinery with my own two hands. I can tell. You're impressed by my, uh, technological virility. Ain't hey, nobody in the universe can do what I do. Especially not any of you chumps. <laughs> you know, I couldn't have said it better myself. My good pal Rocket here? His gun wrecked Thanos. The applause feels good. You know? Maybe I should quit while I'm ahead. Go out on a high note. We've been at this hero business non-stop for a while now. I should just retire and live off all the fame and free booze. Yeah! Woohoo! Yeah! As they say, 
absence makes the heart grow bigger. You can't leave us, man. We gotta keep the band together. Oh, you guys will be fine. Plus, there won't be any more of my fur clogging the drain. Everybody wins. I mean, look at all we accomplished. Thanos is dead. The galaxy is guarded. Our job's done. Maybe it's time we go our separate ways. Hey, drink maker! I got two hands and one of them's empty. I am rude. I'm gonna need your help, girl. We can't let Rocket leave the Guardians. I... Out of a galactic super weapon, I see. Bold. Nice to see you're enjoying yourself. You kicked incredible amounts of ass today. Thanos is all kinds of dead. Yeah, I know. It's been a complicated day. Well, how about a refill? Why not? On my way. You disrespectful human! Same to you, Star Lord. Guess not everyone's a fan. At least I managed not to drop this. My hero. I try. Thanos murdered your people. I... I thought you'd be... happier once he was caught. He was a monster, yes. But he was also my family. I can't make sense of it. Oh, come on, forget Thanos. He's dead. You're not. You deserve to have some fun. Don't make light of this, Peter. He will always be a part of who I am. Thinking about Nebula. Your sister? I called her that. We both called Thanos father. He used to force us to fight to prove who was worthy of being called his daughter. I won. We couldn't stop until there was blood on the ground. That is messed up. Yeah, it is. But Nebula believed it was normal to fight and kill for what you want. Neb stabbed me while I was sleeping because I won. Imagine how she's going to react when she finds out we killed Thanos. She loved him, I think. In her own way. No matter how you feel, just remember this. You did the right thing. That'll get you through. You... Making more sense than normal, Peter. Or perhaps the drinks are kicking in. There's a small part of me that wants to see my sister again. But when she finds out what we did, she's gonna lose her mind. She'll hunt us all down and kill us. You don't know Nebula. Imagine me, but angrier. Yeah, well, what she doesn't know won't come back to stab us. Look, just leave her alone. That would be the safe bet. Besides, I wouldn't mind starting fresh. To moving on. To moving on. Hey, hey, hey. you chubs doing a toast without us. What happened to Drax? Probably off crying in his room. <laughs> We toasted or what? I am Groot. I built the gun who killed the baddie. The toast is mine. To moving on. About time. I am Groot. To friendship? How boring. <laughs> Let's just drink already. Hey, there you 
are. I've been looking all over for you. Ah, uh, why? We got a big, big problem. Okay. It was not my fault. I barely consumed my body weight in that toxic liquid. Hey, I was surrounded by adoring fans. I couldn't let them go thirsty. Oh, I don't care who ordered all the drinks. We need to figure out how to pay our tab. Pete's gonna love my solution. You know I always got genius ideas, right? You need a plan, you go to Rocket. That's the deal. I'm just making good on it. Yeah, whatever it is, I'm sure it's brilliant. Why, thank you. It certainly is. We're gonna sell Thanos' body! I am... That is... not a bad idea. Selling a corpse? How could that be profitable? There are people who would find it valuable. Exactly. And I know just the guy. The Collector. He loves buying exotic crap for his museum. So Thanos, the newly dead Titan, will be perfect. He'll pay you tons of units for that body. These are the kind of people you want to be rubbing elbows with, Pete. Uh, okay, well that is... that is very weird. You got this purple freak laying dead in front of you. A tree puking his guts out in your toilet. And this is the weird thing? Look around you! Weird is the new normal! Or... we could turn Thanos over to the Nova Corps. They've had an official bounty on his head for years. Plus, it comes with the added benefit of not having to deal with criminals. Like the Collector. He's a corrupt thug, bottom line. But the Nova Corps, they maintain peace and order in the galaxy. They have thousands of ships and soldiers. Yeah, turning Thanos over to the Nova Corps sounds right. Thank you, Peter. You guys, you're killing me with this. We'd make way more money with the Collector. You're being a greedy little rodent right oh, now. Oh, as if you're so high and mighty, Green Lady. You suddenly forgot all the innocent people you murdered for that psycho? I remember each and every one. Not that you'd understand. You do whatever the hell you want, whenever you want. That is an accurate and completely acceptable judgment. Oh, chill out, Gamora. Grocket's only trying to help. Peter, the Nova Corps would make capable allies. Don't let this miscreant convince you otherwise. Pete's smart. He don't need convincing. It's Peter's call, Rocket. Not yours. Hey, Drax. <sighs> Quill. About what happened last night. Do you truly mean what you implied? That I did not earn my vengeance? Yeah. No, of course you earned it. Like, like ten times over. It was a team effort taking Thanos down. Yes. Yes, that is logical. Thank you, Peter. So, who do you think we should give Thanos to? Nova Corps or the Collector? Nova Corps, Collector, thrown into a black hole? That is up to you. He is dead. That is all I care about. All right. Take care of yourself, buddy. Peter Quill! Legendary Star-Lord. So what's up, my main man? How you holding up, buddy? Yeah, my liver's trying to shag me from the inside out. I've never had so many free drinks in my life. Living in a post-Thanos world, on the other hand. Maybe it won't be so bad. Some time off would be a welcome change. So, what's the deal with this Collector guy? Might come as a surprise, but the Collector collects stuff for his collection. When he's not running the Underworld, that is. He pays tip-top dollar, which is way better than anything the Nova Corps can do for us. Why do you hate the Nova Corps so much? Those NC jerkwads locked me and Groot up at least a dozen times for bounty hunting, weapon stealing, you know, innocent stuff like that. Hey, come on, a guy's gotta make an honest living, am I right? So, you made up your mind. You're really leaving, then. 
Look, man, two days ago I was getting shot at. Last night I was getting shots. Know what I mean? We're famous. I gotta take advantage. Step one, sell Thanos. Step two, fling money into air. I should get back to it. Oh, and don't be an idiot. Thanos is worth a fortune. Call the Collector. Hey, Peter. How are you doing? Fine. Staying as far away from Rocket as I can. I'm worried about Drax, though. Whatever you said to him last night really got to him. He's been moping around ever since. So... Something on your mind? Why do you like the Nova Corps so much? I don't... really like to talk about it, but... I was an assassin for Thanos. I killed so many people for him that I lost count. Tyrants. Innocence. <sighs> Didn't matter. If you ever hear the ridiculous nickname, the most dangerous woman in the universe, that was me. But the Nova Corps, they turned a blind eye to my past after I joined the Guardians. Being with you guys, making the galaxy safer, it's past after I joined the Guardians. Being with you guys? Making the galaxy safer. It's my chance to make up for what I did. I checked in with Drax. Is he all right? Unclear. Ah, <sighs> great. So, you still mad at Rocket? He needs to watch his little tongue. I may have been too harsh with him. He just... Oh, he's so infuriating. I guess I'll talk to you later. Some advice for you. Don't trust the Collector. You should call the Nova Corps. I mean, how bad could the Collector be? Greetings, I'm Vili, the Collector's representative. I, uh, heard you guys might be in the market for the biggest threat the galaxy has ever known. You have Thanos? The Mad Titan? Got his big purple corpse right here. My boss has significant resources and could pay handsomely for such a rare specimen. So long as the body's in museum quality condition, of course. Such as, no signs of advanced decomposition, excessive damage to the face or skeleton. Well, it might have a slight hole in it. Huh. We will have to see about that. Send me your coordinates and I'll be there shortly with some... associates. To examine the specimen personally. Associates? Just make sure the body is there. Are you serious? Dealing with the Collector? That's a dangerous path we're going down. And I have a feeling it's not going to end well. It really does with creeps like him. I made this decision to benefit us. Okay, all of us. And our wallets. This is not about money, Peter. It's about building relationships. The Nova Corps could have helped us out. Consider this side of the argument, Gamora. Money. Money. These people do not mess around, Peter. When they see the hole in that body... Don't worry, Gamora. Listen, I'll throw in that relic. Okay, it'll help sweeten the deal. Hey, that's a great idea! And we can get even more units! <laughs> oh, come on, where did I put that thing? Found you. Huh? Peter. Oh, I'm 
going to kill him. Oh. He broke it, Mom. That doesn't mean it was okay to hit that boy. Violence isn't the answer to every problem. Are you listening to me? If I let him push me around, it'll only get worse. You're right. You should stand up for yourself. But you need to find a way to do that without getting suspended. You gave me this for my birthday. I mean, you should be pissed <laughs> off, too. <clears throat> and what he did was wrong, but... But you, you... Don't just go punching every person who makes you mad. Especially not someone who's three grades above you. I mean... That kid practically shaves. What? I could have taken him. Uh-uh. Don't get cocky, kid. I'm thinking, from the look of things, he took you. This can't keep happening, Peter. I know I haven't been home as much lately. But that's all the more reason I need you to step up and take some responsibility. I know. Then you know tomorrow you're apologizing to that boy. And I mean a real apology. No smart Alex stuff. Okay, fine. But this is so unfair. <laughs> Newsflash, kiddo. Life's not always fair. What matters is you do what's right. <sighs> I think we could both use a chance to clear our heads, don't you? What we need is a little perspective. Sometimes it takes stepping back from your problems to see how small they actually are. Beautiful. <coughs> These last few months haven't been easy. For either of us. But, um... I'm not always gonna be here. I worry about you. You're growing up so fast. Don't say stuff like that. This isn't easy for me, either. You're gonna be around long after I'm gone. I just... don't want you to be alone. <coughs> Mom? <coughs> I'm fine, baby. It's nothing. <clears throat> it's just the dust. I know you've got a lot on your mind. But that kid you fought, maybe he does, too. Promise me in the future you'll use your words instead of your fists. I will, Mom. I promise. Thank you, baby. You fixed it! Hell! What can I say, huh? I'm pretty good. Hey, oh, great song. Someone with exceptional taste must have introduced you to this one. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Or something? This thing ain't a person, you know. You okay? Hey, be careful with that. What? I'm just holding it. Relax. You've been standing here for hours talking to this thing. Hours? Yeah. The collector's guys are waiting for us. Don't tell me you forgot. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hey, you okay to go out there? You look like you just seen a ghost. I can't have you going out there all crazy-eyed in front of them. And you are acting... You're acting weird, all right? I... I really don't know what I just saw. It was... I don't know. When I grabbed the relic, I... I was suddenly back on Earth. And my... Mom was there. Isn't she... Dead? 
I know. I, I know. I know she is. I just... Somehow it didn't... feel that way. Sounds like I'm not the only one who needs a break. Come on, we shouldn't keep him waiting. You still want to sell this thing, or... We are uh... not selling it. Fine, sure. Whatever. All right. Showtime. Let's go. This is a bad idea. I can mutter opinions into my breath, too. Oh, I must admit. I'm surprised you contacted us. I know your Nova Corps connections would disapprove of this decision. They've been trying to shut down our operation for years. Something about the legality of capturing and detaining specimens against their will. Oh, but being displayed in our museum... That is a status of high honor. I didn't do it for you. <laughs> I did it for the cold hard units. Oh, we never inquire as to the motivations of our clients. Because they are often illegal. <laughs> Play nice Gamora. Show him to me. What? When you mentioned the hole, I imagined bullet-sized. Not that I could fly a spaceship through it. Nah, I barely notice it. This is completely unacceptable. I can't bring Thanos' body to the Collector with a giant hole in it! He will kill me, and then he will send people after you. My employer requires all his specimens to be in pristine condition. Not broken, burned, or missing half a torso. This is a damaged good. We had a deal. Well, the deal was for museum quality. You know who wouldn't have worried about this issue? Huh. The Nova Corps. You know who should shut up? Here's the new deal, Star-Lord. I'm taking the man title. Given the condition of his body, the Collector himself will need to personally appraise it. Only then will he authorize payment. If you wish to be compensated, you will agree to these terms. It would be foolish to argue. Oh, money first. Then you get the body. Mm. Mm, you're making this very difficult. Oh, pay him. Hmm. You aren't the pushovers we suspected you to be. Is she? The Collector respects that. We consider this an investment in a very profitable future. And that is how you make money. You, PQ, are my personal hero! Up top. Peter Quill! We must finish what we started. I cannot delay any longer. My leader demands it. I am Groot? Don't know what the hell he's blabbing on about. Look, guy, if you're here to rob me, it's, uh, it's not gonna be a fair fight. It's five on one. Hmm. Is it? You have something I desire. The Eternity Forge. And since Jinzar could not retrieve it earlier, I must take it myself. I will not fail you again. Girlfriend of yours? I know you dated some crazies, but this is a whole nother level. You know, she's not really my type. Well, you seem to be her type. Both of you shut up and start fighting back. I'll protect the money. 
Rocket! Retrieve the relic. We have what we came for. Stop! Rocket, we need the ship! Engines are down! It's gonna take a minute! We can't wait! They're getting away! I'm coming with you. There's only one pack. Allow me to fight beside you, Star-Lord. I did not kill Thanos. At least let me kill these blue warriors. Look at the size of that warship. You can't fight your way through that. Take me, and they'll never even know we were there. Let us paint her ship red with blood from the inside. Gamora, you're with me. As you wish. Kill all the Kree for me, Star-Lord. If you do not, I shall never forgive you. Looks clear. Let's get moving. Uh, would be nice if you'd fill me in here. Yesterday, that relic was nothing to you. I mean, you drank out of it. Now you're blindly chasing it into a Kree warship? What aren't you telling me? I... I don't understand. Back on the Milano, it showed me something. Uh, a vision. I was back home. And it felt so... real. My mom told me to come find her. 
you saw your dead mom in a dream? We don't know what this thing is. It could be affecting you. Honestly, I'm just as confused as you are. Confusion or not, that relic is dangerous. Who knows what else it's capable of? Look, we just need to get the relic back. All right, Peter. Whatever you say. That's weird. What is it? My scanner isn't picking up anything. It's like nobody has been through here in a long time. Those are pictures of... This is more tomb than warship. Don't let your guard down, Gamora. There's gotta be some Kree still alive. Yeah. We did see them on Nowhere. So where are they? Those glyphs are Kree. But I can't make out what it says. I can. Much better. bridge. hala has gotta be there. Which means, that's where the relic is. Hala would be expecting a direct attack. We need to find a way in there without being seen. One hundred percent of Stasis Pods online. Ship of only at six percent crew efficiency. That... There's a lot of dead folks. Power diverted to access way. 36 stasis pods now offline. Equilibrium terminated. Uh, whoa. My bad. They can't get any deader, I guess. Hey, Kamora. I'm game if you are. Perfect. Lead the way. Keep moving and stay quiet. Oh, you're the one who's talking. Shh, what did I just say? Someone has deactivated the stasis pods. I'm your weapons. We must find them. They cannot be far. Do not worry, sweet one. You shall be back by my side soon. Once we return home, the process can begin. Few survive an encounter with me and return for more. Peter Quill. It's pronounced Star-Lord.
one more step and she dies, it will be easy to remove her head. Do not test me. Get that thing off her neck. Very well. I cannot lose my son again. You will not take him from me. I have been searching for so long. No one will stand in my way. I lost someone too. Someone I loved. I am sorry. But this is much larger than a single life. Thanos eradicated my people. Destroyed my planet. Now that you have killed him, the Eternity Forge will be our salvation. You have no idea what this means to me. To the Kree, our rightful place in the stars shall be restored. I know what it's capable of. It let me relive a memory with my mom. It can do so much more than that. You really do not know how this works, do you? You said you lost your mother. Would you kill someone to bring her back? I see you find this question difficult. If the answer is not apparent to you, then you will never understand. Billions of Kree have died. Bringing them all back will require many sacrifices. I will not rest until we have conquered every star system in the galaxy. Starting with you. Peter! Peter, I'm here! Oh no! Thank you. Gamora, I am. I'm glad I brought you along. That's my fault. I should have seen her attack coming. Rocket! We gotta go! Hollis' ship is coming after us! I don't know if we can outrun her! We have to try! Stay with me, Peter. Hey! Peter! What happened? Are you... I... am Groot? I don't know, buddy. I hope so. Hey, guys. This is your fault, Green Witch. You allowed him to die. As if you could have done any better. Either of you. Yeah, go on. 
Blame the guy who wrenched his arm. Blame him. Peter. Peter, no. I'll give you some time to say goodbye. You know, your mom would smack you upside the head she saw you moping over her like this. Quills ain't no little babies. The hell do you know, mister? You don't know my mom, and you don't know me. I know a lot more than you think. <laughs> you better pull it together, boy. Cause I'm the closest thing you got to family right now. Now let's get. I don't want to be on this planet any longer than I have to. Who are you? The name's Yandu Udanta, Centaurian. Leader of the Ravagers. Keeper. Your ma wrote me into taking care of you if something ever happened. Something happened. Now, you can come with me easy, or am I gonna have a fight on my hands? Won't do you much good. You're a bony little scrap of nothing. I can take you without needing to lift a finger. And why should I trust you? Because my word is my bond, boy. What I say, I do. There's nothing in between. So what's it gonna be? All right. I'm ready to get out of here. I trust you. That a boy. Come on. Let me show you your new home. Don't worry, my little Star-Lord. I'm here to help you. It'll be all right. Help me? How? I'll show you soon enough. Mom? Come find me, Peter. I'll be waiting for you. <gasps> So, yeah, I thought once Thanos was kaput, we'd have to change our name. Heroes of the Galaxy. Partyers of the Galaxy. 
Yeah, but the thing about this place... ...it never stays guarded for long. As soon as Hala found out we had the Eternity Forge... ...we shot up to Numero Uno on her murder list. Yes, dying hurt. A lot. What kind of question is that? I am Dad, you know what, buddy? Why don't I feel these questions? Since we're putting this on record, it was a brilliant idea to pawn off Thanos. We got paid the big bucks, the Collector has a brand new exhibit, everyone's happy. Except Gamora, but she's never happy. Peter ain't a bad kid. Bit of a whiny pushover on his best days. Soon as he showed up at my hideout, I could tell he got himself in some kind of trouble. The Kree ain't folks you want to mess with. I thought I could keep my distance from Nebula. Avoid a confrontation with her. I was wrong. Once she found out what the Eternity Forge could do, everything it could do, there was no stopping her. I'm gonna use an Earth analogy here, so just bear with me. The Guardians, we're like the Beatles. I'm John, Gamora is Paul, Rocket is Ringo, Drax is George, and Groot, well... Well, Groot is just Groot. It's, it's, it's not a perfect analogy, all right? <laughs> we yell, sure. We fight. But damn, do we make beautiful music. I just hope I can keep the band together. Or this galaxy doesn't stand a chance. <laughs>